Well, it is as synonymous with the ocean front as the salt and sand itself. The Virginia Beach Fishing Pier, 72 years old this year. And as we've reported, recently sold to a new owner. Tonight, we take a look back as well as at what might be. Dead on Your Side's Brett Hall has history changing hands. For nearly a third of a century, Virginia Beach. The wooden pier between 14th and 15th streets at the oceanfront <laughs> has been home to recreation, oh, you got two oh, on. You got two on. relaxation, and Bobby Lockman's occupation. It's special. It's special to be able to come to the oceanfront over the beach, you know, for every day of work. Lockman is president of a company that has owned the pier since it was built. It was 1949 when Lockman's grandfather, Eddie Lockman, got together with members of the Bonnie and Murden families. So, they said, well, why don't we try to build a pier up in Virginia Beach? After spending $250,000, in 1950 the pier opened, spanning nearly 1,000 feet. The pier was all at this level we're at right now. Since that time, not much has changed. It's still a place for friends to meet. We got a group of locals that come here every day. We buy season passes. Families to teach. You know, my dad brought me out here when I was four years old. I caught my first fish, you know, and they're bringing their sons. But as this son of a son of a pier owner has found out, time can still take a toll. Everyone in our families are all getting uh, old. We don't have any young people in the family. Fishermen and spectators alike can't walk out above the Atlantic as far as they used to. Lockman says that's thanks in part to hurricanes that went by the names of Isabel and Irene. Sometimes 50 feet, sometimes 100, uh, as much as 200 feet at times we've lost. He always rebuilt, yes, but... It's expensive and labor uh, inducive. It's part of the reason last month he and the other family members sold the property to the owners of Sensations and the Pier Shops, the Saboni family, for nearly $19 million. It was a real hard decision. Aside from hurricanes, though, Lockman says the realities of maintaining an old wooden pier in the Atlantic Ocean, it's a lot of money. And he thinks ultimately it will be best if this goes away. You have the fire threat, you know, higher storm threat. But I would hate to see this go. But I understand, and I fought with it for years and years. You may remember, the Saboni family was a part of the proposal four years ago to construct a concrete pier right next to the original. See, he's got the perfect piece of property over there. To build hotels on this side of the street, you need to put the parking garages over there. While the Sabonis didn't return our request for comment, Lockman is confident that is likely the best path forward. I really think the city needs to have a pier for sure. One that'll serve as a backdrop to thousands of vacations. The pier is like a magnet. Every tourist that comes to that boardwalk, from one end of the boardwalk to the other, sees the pier. A sight to see for years to come. At the Virginia Beach Oceanfront, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.